Well, definitely, Desiree. It was well received by um, the women here, and all the women are actually represented uh, uh, from all walks of life on the African continent. And of course, I'm actually joined by a very interesting speaker who hails all the way from Kenya. And of course, uh, she's well known, editor. Thank you so much for joining us on the S on SABC. I mean, you've come a long way. You've been through a lot, and here you are standing. What prompted you to actually come to this conference? Uh, for me, thank you so much, first of all, for inviting me here. And this conference is a transitioning for me. Just meeting more than 1,000 women, I think it's a learning process. And after the conference, uh, I'll be leaving so fast on 7th because I want to go and vote myself in Kenya. But what I know, the recommendations that are going to come from this conference, I always believe in practice. Practice every recommendation just to bring change in Africa. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, on, on, on stage um, earlier on, I mean, you, you briefly took to your history, um, you know, you were sexually, you know, violated. And speaking about the votes in Kenya, you've now become a candidate in parliament. I mean, talk to that tra transition. I mean, also the support that you've also received in Kenya. Uh, what I'll say, when you're vying as a candidate, uh, maybe it depends with an individual, but for me, it is because of my background and the history of women in Africa. Like every day we are being oppressed and the only place that we can make a difference is through parliament. So when I was seated there just as a simple grassroots woman, I decided let me go to the parliament. So we have a by-election in Kibra constituency and I'm one of the candidates. So just being there in a space that is male-dominated, it's very difficult, but because of resilience, I, I'm still there and I'm going to be on the ballot on 7th. And I believe you're going to bring change. And either way, I believe in myself, I'm going to be a winner. Because it has been a learning process. Every day you wake up in the morning doing campaigns. As a mother, sometimes your children are sick. Sometimes your children need you at home. It has been difficult. But because I believe in change in a political space, yes, I'm there. I mean, the issues that also took center stage are issues of gender-based violence. You know that South Africa has been grappling with such issues. The entire African continent as well. I mean, we've heard from Umam Pumzile Mlambongmuga saying that, you know, equality is one thing that we actually need to strive towards, you know, achieving here on the African continent. How will the solutions here and the deliberations in this conference then, you know, somewhat pave a way for all these things to be actually dealt with? Um, uh, what I'll say, depending on the conversation that has come from the morning, now when women are going to leave, in, to leave this place, personally I'm going to leave so much powered. And I'm leaving uh, with a very strategic mind and believing that women can, can and women can bring change in Africa. And if we cannot do okay, or practice things all things the, the things that we are speaking here, then we are making Africa to have an impossible change. But when you see all these women so brilliant coming, listening, and even sharing their testimony, sharing, sharing the stories, uh, for me, that is a, um, a change process. And for me, yes, as a sexual and gender-based survivor, it has been long. When I was six years old, I was defiled. At the 16 years old, again, uh, facing gang rape, it, has been, it was difficult in my life. And at, at some point, my dreams were shattered. And then I realized, it has been happening to women, but these women were silent. For me, I couldn't be silent. The only way I believed is uh, through sharing our stories and talking to each other, and then we found a solution. Just building a, a stable movement, coming together, and we decided we're going to fight sexual and gender-based violence in Kibera. And uh, it's not just a matter of sexual and gender-based violence, but today in Kibera, we fight all oppression against women and children. And for me, we are going somewhere, we are going to fight, we are unstoppable, and we're not going to lose hope in this war. I'm still there and available for women. Thank you so much and thanks for your time there. We have it from editor saying that she will continue this fight. And of course, women at this conference have waged war against, you know, gender-based violence across the country, inequality, and many other issues that, you know, women face across the, the African continent. But as for now, uh, Desiree, let me just wrap up and cross back to you in studio. Thanks a lot, Natasha. Let's go to the free state.